Yannick Sinner took over the tennis world with his incredible win at the Australian Open, which left many tennis legends praising him as the face of tennis, but there were a few who saw holes in his game. Let's start with one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Novak Djokovic. Very, very, I mean, we all know he's very talented, but he's already now established top player. Um, and I've seen him play, uh, you know, many different uh, surfaces in the last few years uh, and, and he's maturing a lot on the big stage. Now to take it a step further, after Sinner beat Djokovic in the semifinals, Djokovic's coach said, if he was going to lose to anyone, I'm glad it was Sinner. Now that is some high praise coming from both Djokovic and his longtime coach, Goran Ivanasevic. Now, Sinner's recent title run was simply electrifying. In fact, he was so dominant that he even had his peers like Nick Kyrgios singing his praises before becoming the champ. Just take a listen to what Kyrgios had to say about Sinner. He played today, you know, he came out of the blocks electric, you know, and as Andy said, the returning was ridiculous. Every time Rune hit a good serve, it was coming back to him right at his toes. And I think he's just, a match like that is, it doesn't do enough for your confidence. I think, you know, now he's beaten, he's undefeated in group stages in front of your home fans. However, not everyone has had positive things to say about the young Italian star. If you know anything about tennis, then you know that John McEnroe is not afraid to speak his mind. After Sinner lost to Daniel Altmaier in the recent French Open, McEnroe did not hold anything back. He went as far as to say that Sinner blew his chance to win the title and that he choked in front of everyone. Well, it looks like Sinner took that criticism to heart as he blew everyone out of the waters at the 2024 Australian Open. But some past legends can look at Sinner and see the progress that he has made from one year to the next. Take Andy Roddick, for example. He had nothing but good things to say about Sinner as he broke down all the things that Sinner has improved in recent times. Right, like and Yannick Sinner, has, his serve has gotten better. Every year he's gotten stronger. He can now play deep. I mean, he plays this like sliding open stance on both sides, like an open stance backhand sliding and hitting it, redirecting line. <clears throat> like that causes me like night sweats now and I don't even have to deal with it. Like it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. Another player who had to give it up to Sinner's greatness was Daniil Medvedev. Now, of course, Medvedev came up short against Sinner in the Australian Open, but he didn't make any excuses for his loss. Instead, he gave Sinner full credit for making the right adjustments and getting the better of him. This is what Medvedev had to say. I didn't really do bad mistakes. I think what happened is he started to play better a little bit different tactically because I proposed him something different in the beginning of the match, which was very aggressive. I got a little tired physically, but like every other match before, just every other match before, my opponents didn't manage to take advantage. But not everyone is so gracious in defeat. In the past, there have been some players who have come up with wild excuses for losing. And that is exactly what Taylor Fritz did when he lost to Sinner. Instead of admitting that Sinner got the best of him, Fritz blamed the wind for his loss. I think the wind played a really big part in how the match was decided, Fritz said. Every game he broke my serve on was when he was with and I was against. It was much harder against. I mean, we started the third set with, I was against the wind, he broke me. And then when we switched and then he was against the wind and I broke him back. But on a more positive note, Tennis legends like Jim Courier and Leighton Hewitt see bright things in Sinner's future. The two of them even went as far as to compare Sinner's competitive rivalry with Carlos Alcaraz, that of Federer versus Nadal. Just take a listen to what these two tennis greats had to say. I think this is going to be one of the great rivalries moving forward, the Sinner-Alcaraz rivalry. Potentially like the Roger Rafa one we saw for so many years as well. And it's intriguing. Both game styles are slightly different as well. Their upbringings are different. So uh, I'm really excited. I, I think tennis needs it. We need these new guys coming through now. Now, speaking of Carlos Alcaraz, the great Spanish player also sees Sinner as one of his greatest rivals. But Alcaraz seems to love the idea as he sees himself becoming a better player by facing Sinner over and over again. This is what Alcaraz had to say. Yes, of course, Yannick, uh, Yannick and I will have a good rivalry, you know, and uh, of course, uh, him is gonna, is gonna do 
me better, a better player. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a, a better player thanks to, to him. Now, another one of Sinner's peers who could not help but speak highly of him was Ben Shelton. Ben recently did get the better of Sinner, but there seems to be plenty of mutual respect as Shelton said that Sinner is only a year older than me and has done so much. He leads a fantastic generation of young Italians and is among the top five in the coming years. Now, Sinner might be getting all that recognition in the world now, but certain tennis legends knew that he was the real deal long before that. Take Roger Federer, for example. He recognized Sinner's greatest pretty early on. Great footwork for a big, big guy because we don't we forget how tall uh, he is as well. And then he can play again, like most of the best movers in the game right now. He can also play open stance and close stance, which I think is a huge advantage for movement. Um, uh, for the future, so I think we'll see so much more from him and his exciting guy. Now, Sinner must have felt pretty good hearing those words coming from one of his idols, but another one of Sinner's idols also had great things to say about him. This time, Rafael Nadal spoke about Sinner's game and gave him timeless advice that he had applied to become great. This is what the great Rafael Nadal had to say. That's just statistics, and the only thing what matters is uh, how much he will be able to to improve. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's the only thing that matters in this sport because you can remember a lot of good names that I will not name today or now for respect to them, but with 18 years old had a lot of uh, good perspectives. In the After center one, Nadal made sure to congratulate the young stud by posting a message on his Instagram which translated, great tournament, your first Grand Slam tournament. Greetings to you, your team, your family, and all Italy that won today with you. Another pro who took to social media after Sinner won was the great Rod Laver. He left a heartfelt message for Sinner complimenting his game and the kind of person he is. Laver said, Italian tennis is in good hands. Yannick Sinner has beaten the best to achieve his first major. With his all-around game and youth, he is bound for many more. Bad luck to Daniil, a heartbreaking loss after so much hard work this past fortnight. Thank you for the great tennis. Well, there seems to be plenty of love going around for Sinner. Many pros see him as one of the faces of tennis for years to come, while it seems as if his peers have a healthy competition going on with him which is only good for tennis as it will surely create some dynamic matchups in the future.